In this quick tutorial, I want to answer a question that's actually come up a number of times as I've talked with users of Modic. How do I add a full width hero image to my landing page without switching to code mode and losing the WYSIWYG builder that I want to use? Well, actually, if you don't create your own themes, it's not impossible, but it is a little tricky and it involves the new code mode slot and a little bit of HTML. Let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to click new. And I'm going to use the oxygen theme and click in the builder. So you'll notice this slot container has a background color and it's some kind of light gray. Well, there's really no way to override this unless you add a code mode slot at the top. I'm going to click and drag code mode and it's going to place the typical place your content here for me. Now the trick is I've got to add a style that actually overrides the background of this entire container. Well, it won't work just to add a style. So I actually have to figure out what div manages the background and what style it's using. Well, that's actually a lot easier than you think. Click close builder and I better give this a name. Rod's background test. Save and close. And I'm just going to go take a quick peek at it. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to click Inspect Element. If you have Chrome or Firefox or Safari, this is pretty much built in these days. All right, so here in the Inspect Element of Firefox, I'm going to scroll up and I'm going to find the table. That's not it because that's too small. So I'm going to keep scrolling up and I'm going to look for div class. Here it is. Div class equals content padding. Now if I scroll down to the next one and inspect that element there, you'll notice that it's a completely different class in a different section. So I don't have to worry about that. So once again, div class equals content dash padding is going to allow me to update the background for this entire section. All right, so now we know what we need to do. Back over to my landing page and click Builder. And I'm going to click on that place content here code mode slot. Now the trick is if I delete that content completely, I won't be able to edit this again because it'll basically not have any content in it at all. So best practice here might be to make this your headline anyway. All right, well, actually it's pretty simple from here, right? So style and it was content dash header. And from here, if you know a little bit of simple CSS, you're good to go. So I've added a class called white and I've made my paragraph text white and then content padding, giving it a background URL. It's the hockey playoffs here. And of course I'm a Toronto Maple Leafs fan. So I just basically grabbed an image, put that right there in the background with a no repeat center center and a background size of cover and a height of 800 pixels. Of course you can do anything you want in here now, now that you know what this CSS class is. If I had not put a class here and just put background and URL, well, of course, it wouldn't have worked. Let's go ahead and delete that and delete that and delete that. And here in the text, I'm going to say, hey, it's the playoffs. And there we are. All right. Close builder. Save and close. Let's take a quick peek. And there we go. We have a hero image that fills the container 800 pixels high on our new landing page. All right, that's it. A little bit of investigating, a little bit of CSS, and we have our hero image on any template we want.